Uh, hi, I'm just going to do a little bit on the XJO, but firstly, um, what I'm going to do here is just show how I got this fib arc here on the Dow Jones, okay? Um, basically by someone's request, uh, there's the high uh, in 2008, which I've used as an anchor point, and I've brought it down until we match up with the low, the arc at the low of um, 2009 in March there, I think it was the 6th of March, okay? As we can see, it's picked out this high here. It's picked up some lows in here, okay? And in here again, okay? So how reliable these things are, I think they're just a bit of a gauge, you know, probably a, a thing in Metastocks that Charter's going to have a bit of fun. But um, if you move it around there a little bit, you'll see that it, there it, it says it's clearly broken out, but... Um, I was just trying to keep it in on those highs there. It's being a little bit pedantic. Uh, and we sort of something like this. And yeah, it's picking up that and it's picked up this here and that there. So yeah, that's basically how it was done. Since I was talking the other day, the bug has gone straight through it. Um, and is probably going to come back just retest a little bit there. Uh, it's hard to zoom in with one of these. Anyway, I'll can this here and put that on pause and and go back to the XJO. Okay, we're back here again with XJO. And it's just a few observations and things on the chart here where we're looking at. This here, um, this white line here is the 50% uh, from the GFC high to the, to the March low again, okay? And it's had quite a few shots at um, getting um, through this before in the past. I think it was either three or four. So, so this will either be the fourth or the fifth time. And we can see it's come up through it, it's come back, it's retested it, and it's retested it a few times in here, come back close. We've got this little flag in here form now, and flags when they tend to point up like that tend to be bullish, okay? But it'll just be interesting to see where um, this unfolds from here. Okay, 30-day um, moving average down here. Um, it seems to have supported it quite well in the in the past. Okay, along these levels, we had a drop through here. Okay, and then we had a nice cross of the 30 and the 50, which is 50s in the blue, 30s in the yellow. Okay. And away we went again. It was a nice little golden cross. So whether um, this is going to go up here, because these are the FIB projections taken from the June low way down the bottom up to the November low and the FIB projections we've had on the way up. Okay, and pulled out a little, uh, minor little top in there and you know, a little bit of, um, uh, what would you call it? Uh, yeah, accumulation, not accumulation is a bad word. I'll think of it and I'll get back to it. The only one that it hasn't tested up here so far is the 261, okay? If this flag breaks up, I'd say there's a pretty good chance of that. Now that is up there at, we'll just find out exactly where that is. Five thousand two hundred and sixty-one point seven three ish. Okay. Um, yeah. So MAs and everything here at the moment is a little bit of um, standstill as far as um, indicators go. Um, we haven't had any real divergence in there at this point. Um, we might just be able to pull up a little something there. It's trying, you would think it's trying. The, the MACD uh, zero lag indicator is, is trying. Interesting part here, um, these two little RSIs I use down here uh, against this larger one. Um, the larger one is a, uh, basically shows trend, okay? And um, the smaller ones are short entries for either a long or a short, depending on which way they are pointing, okay? 
Now these um, have just thrown in a little uh, short entry for a long um, the yesterday, okay? And that was a, a short entry for a short, okay? And short entry for a short. And then what happens is the larger RSI then will give you the trigger, okay? Now it's slightly, ever so slightly trying to turn up, okay? But I wouldn't call it um, uh, a long entry for a long at the moment, okay? Um, and it's around about 55, okay? So probably like around about 50. Six or something like that, which you know, is in the area that it, it likes to turn. Um, I'll get rid of that so I can put a pointer on. If you if you look at it, it is an area in the past it, it can turn up, you know, around, you know, because there was a false entry there. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it'll just be interesting to see um, which way the cookie crumbles at the moment. But things I'd be tending to look at here is the support on the 30-day moving average. Um, maybe a retest of that 50% um, um, fib. Uh, maybe not. You know, it just depends on which way the cookie crumbles. I think when this flag breaks, it's either going to break up um, pretty quickly or it's going to break down pretty quickly, uh, one way or the other. But I, I do think they um, tend to, when they're looking like this, they're looking bullish. So. They do tend to be more on the breakup than breakdown. Anyway, that's um, my little bit. Um, this here is just a fib set from that um, November low up to the recent high. And you've got your 23.6 is just under that 50% um, there. And there are also another fib set um, taken from way back when. Um, no, one, no one's in there for, hang on, I'll just have a quick look, um, if we can go back without making too much of a mess. Ah, okay, it's just taken off that high there, okay, so that was 100%, so um, yeah, you'd be thinking, well, with that, as an old high, um, which would have been resistance, uh, should now be support, um, again as well. And how many times we've had, you know, basically one, two, or one, two, three. This is fourth time um, through that 50% um, is what um, one would be thinking. Okay, there's your, your fib set from there. Okay, chart looks like a mess now, but not to worry. Um, yeah, so back here, you'd be thinking that this area here is, is fairly good. Um, support and if that was broken, um, you'd probably be looking back down your 470s um, at your 50% from that November. Um, yeah, but at the moment, our 30 day and our 50 day are still streaming along. The little 7 and 14 here haven't made up their mind, and this little standard error band is um, still thinking about it as well. But it's going to have to break the top of that flag before it goes any higher and it's, or any lower. Just, just a few thoughts on that there anyway.